Hey everybody, I'm Serena with Key360 Media and we are going to be talking about great places to spend your New Year's Eve this holiday weekend as well as places to stargaze in the state of Arizona. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, I'm Serena. Thank you so much for tuning into our live stream today. We've got a lot of great stuff for you. I want to tell you, in case you don't know, that we publish Arizona Key Travel Magazine, a statewide travel guide that you can pick up every month either at the airport if you're coming into town, at your concierge desk if you're visiting from out of town, or if you live here in Arizona, um, you can also just check it out online, www.arizonakey.com, and we always have our digital edition up. And I just gave you a sneak peek of our January 2018, can you believe that, issue. So I'm excited about that, and um, we're going to be talking about some fun things today. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about stargazing in Arizona and the very best places to see the most. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about different places you can celebrate New Year's. For example, up in Prescott, they drop the boot. So that's a good one we'll be talking about. Um, out at Harold's Corral, Corral they do um, a really fun evening of live entertainment and food, fun, music um, out there in Cave Creek. So that's another good one to check out. And then all across Arizona, I'm going to handpick a couple items that you might be interested in, as well as our reminders for this weekend. So that's what we're going to be talking about. I hope you will comment in and tell me about your experience and the fun that you have here in our state. Um, also, if you want to comment in, then you will actually get a reminder. All you have to do is comment key, K-E-Y, in the comment line and we will send you an automatic reminder when we're going live and we do it every Thursday at 11 to give you um, some great ideas for weekend fun planning like that so let's get started the first thing on my list is stargazing in Arizona and did you guys know that there is actually something called um, a dark sky association and it's an organization that is um, addressing light pollution on a global level and there are some areas as you probably know that are, are really make it difficult to see the beautiful night sky and here in Arizona we're really lucky because of our landscape we get a pretty good view but I will tell you that I went up to Payson with friends and family about two weeks ago and they it was a it was a camp and so they took us on a starlit hayride and I have to tell you, it was so impressive to be able to clearly see the Milky Way and have that dome effect of, of just having that, that night sky all around you. So I wanted to tell you that in our January issue, we did a whole article about stargazing and we have great tips on the best ways to see the night sky in Arizona and the best places to, to see them. So you can check out that article um, or uh, just to kind of give you a heads up and some great ideas, you can go to, of course, Flagstaff and Sedona, as well as the Village of Oak Creek. They are actually certified as dark sky communities because of their commitment to um, limiting light pollution. And that just gives you a great opportunity to see a beautiful starry night sky. Um, but one other way you can do it, and this is right here, um, in the Phoenix metro area is Stellar Adventures. And we actually had Stellar Adventures on our show last week. We had J.J. Bryles, the, um, the chief adventurer at Stellar. And I had him on the show, and we were talking about all the different kinds of adventure tours they do because they do um, 
all-terrain vehicle tours. So ATVs, UTVs, Hummers, Blazers, all these kinds of different ways to go on adventures out in the Sonoran Desert. Well, one of the really kind of interesting things that they do, and I didn't get a chance to talk to them more fully about it last week, but they do a specific stargazing tour where they take you out in a blazer into the desert at 7 p.m. You get to meet an astronomer out there with a high-powered telescope, and you get to look up at the beautiful Arizona sky surrounded by the Sonoran Desert. So I think that is really um, a fabulous and unique way to see Arizona's night skies. So and I wanted to tell you about that. And again, I'll be talking about that article that we did on um, stargazing a little bit more in upcoming shows. So I, if that is something of interest to you, I hope that you will check it out and comment in if stargazing is something that uh, you really are interested in. Because I think it's like I said, I think it's something that's hard to appreciate sometimes. Um, we don't even think about looking up sometimes, but when you get those opportunities, either to go out there in the desert or out on a starlit hayride like I did a couple weeks ago, you really have an appreciation for the beautiful night sky that we get to see. All right, so the next thing on my list is some ideas for you on how you are going to spend your New Year's weekend. So let me see if I have anybody commenting in. If you, you have some plans this weekend on how you're going to ring in 2018, let me know. I want to hear about it. Um, and let's see. I will give you some ideas as well. For one thing, you can go up to Prescott and from 8 p.m., to 12.30 a.m. in 2018, they have a fun, family-friendly event up there where they actually drop a boot, because after all, it is Arizona, and they do this in historic Whiskey Row right there in downtown Prescott, and they this is, I think, the sixth year that they've been doing it, and it's kind of fitting, a, little, a lit up cowboy boot comes down um, over Whiskey Row, and they actually do it at 10 p.m. and at midnight. And there's giveaways, food, live music, and fireworks. So that's absolutely a fun one you should check out. Um, another option for your New Year's Eve celebration would be to hang out at Harold's Corral. This is a saloon. It's an Old West Saloon. It's been around for, I think, 80 plus years. They can seat about 600 people inside and 200 people outside. So it is a big party. They have a stage, a dance floor. They bring in um, live music and they're really known as being an original Wild West Saloon. So if you want that Southwestern flavor when you're ringing in the new year, that is a great place to do it because they're really a legendary local landmark and um, they have great food too. So it's a fun place to be. I think that, let's see, their special there is $65 a person for dinner, champagne toast at midnight. You get a midnight breakfast buffet, party favors, and a photo, photo booth. And that's just $65 plus tax and tip. So that's a good option. Or if you just wanna come for the after party after 10 p.m., it's just a $5 cover charge. So check that one out and let me know how you like it. All right, so what else do I wanna tell you about? Okay, so I want to tell you also, just I wanna give you just some kind of ideas from here and there and everywhere um, all across our state, some different things, cause I don't know where you're tuning in from, but um, you could, if you're in the Scottsdale area, you might wanna check out the Arab Horse Farm Tour um, they do from December 29th through Monday, January 1st, they will have 10 farms throughout North Scottsdale that open, throughout North Scottsdale, I should say, that they open their doors to um, families and any kind of horse enthusiast, any kind of animal lover. So if you, your kids love horses, this is kind of a fun thing to do. Um, also in Tucson, the Dinner Detective Murder Mystery Show is going on and on December 30th at 6 p.m. That's the Hilton Tucson East. 
and your tickets include a lot of fun stuff, prizes, and, and all kinds of things, so you should check that one out. In Williams, there is Wild Wonderland at Bear, Arizona, and that is going on still only until the 30th. So if you're up that way, don't forget we have that 50% off coupon on our website, www.arizonakey.com, and you'll look for that Arizona coupon, and it's 50% off. So check that out. And then out in Kingman, they do a 16th annual polar bear plunge. So this is Arizona's idea of a polar bear plunge, okay? Um, that is Monday, January 1st at 12 p.m., the Centennial Pool. Uh, and that, that should be kind of fun in Kingman. If you are a brave sort of soul in that way, you might want to check that out. So I see Elliot commenting. He says Prescott New Year's boot drop rivals Times Square. Awesome. I want to see that for myself one of these days. So I want to hear from you as well, if you've been there, how you feel about that one. Okay. Let me get to our weekend reminder. So I would be remiss if I didn't mention collegiate bowl games here in Arizona because this is the big weekend. Just, uh, I think it was yesterday, Kansas State beat UCLA in the Cactus Bowl 35 to 17. And that was at Chase Field in Phoenix. And we still have two more very important bowl games coming up. Okay, Friday, December 29th at 5.30, there's the Arizona Bowl in Tucson. That's New Mexico State Aggies versus Utah State Aggies at the University of Arizona Stadium. And after that game ends, that's on December 29th, um, you can head back town to town and celebrate. It's going to be a great block party type of thing. Um, I think at 8 p.m., a flock of seagulls is going to take the stage for a live concert the band and flock of seagulls, of course. On Saturday, December 30th at 2 p.m., the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. And this is considered one of the big four bowls in collegiate football, which I know not too much about, of course, but um, if you do, comment in and, and educate me a little bit. But this is considered one of the four big bowls, and that's held out in Glendale. And that's Penn State versus Washington, um, and that's at University of Phoenix Stadium. So there is really a ton of stuff going on this weekend. There really always is, but it's a big holiday weekend. It's New Year's Eve weekend. I won't see you until next year because I'm going to be back here live Thursday at 11 a.m. But, um, you know, I hope you'll come back next year um, and tell us how you rang in 2018 how you celebrated here in Arizona. And um, I'd love for you to continue commenting in. If, remember, if you comment in key, even after the fact, if you comment in K-E-Y, we will send you a reminder so you can join us live next week. Thanks so much. Have a happy new year. We'll see you then.